Today I want to show you just a quick um, posture change that you can do before your treatment, right? So I'm here with Nicole, and I have Nicole sitting here as if, say she was, you know, at work, eight to five sitting. What's going to happen when she's kind of in this posture is her front portion is going to get a little tight because you're sitting there, right? Well, on the back side, she's going to have a little bit of lengthening. So it's going to change her posture when she decides to stand up. Well, sometimes when you're doing your respiratory treatments, you're sitting, you may be laying down, you could be standing. So we can take what she does on a typical day and kind of change it to improvement, all right? So since she's kind of in this position, it's going to extend her body so she's opening up her ribcage. Well, we want to start with it down so that we can kind of expand it a little further, okay? So what I'm going to have her do is we're going to take about a two-inch foam pad. Now, if you have something great, what we're going to do is we're going to elevate her feet. The reason why we're elevating her feet is going to bring her knees up and it's going to help tilt her pelvis back a little bit. So when you're sitting, the pelvis is going to tilt forward and it's going to make you extend a little bit. We want to kind of tilt that pelvis back and then put it in a better position. So once she's kind of put her pelvis in a better position, I'm going to have her just take an exhale and she's going to subtly round her ribcage just a tap. Now it's going to look like she's rounded a little bit. But in actuality, we're taking the rib cage and we're just tilting it down. Now from this position, I'm going to have her retract her shoulder blades ever so subtly. Perfect. Now, I would have her do a respiratory treatment. So the key here is we put herself in a better position on the rib cage. Now we complete that and kind of go through the pattern. Now once again, respiratory treatments can be 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes long. We're not saying to kind of get in this better posture the whole time. If you can, that's awesome. But try to look at your posture and see where it takes you because what you may not realize is your environment kind of affects how your posture is. So when you go to do your next respiratory treatment, you may not realize that you may be a little bit extended, your hips may be dumped a little bit, and that can kind of change the flow of how your treatment goes. So if you want a little bit more information on kind of what we're talking about here, check out our blog. We'll have a link. Um, at the end of this video, it's pulmonaryperformance.com and, and we're going to a little bit more in depth on why changing your posture could help improve your next respiratory treatment.